Hello everyone, Chris here from the Javelin Tech team, taking a look at the lock rotation option available for concentric mates within your assemblies. Traditionally, to hold the rotation of components that were mated within the assembly by a concentric mate, we would end up generating excessive mates, usually to reference geometry within our components. Now that we've gone through and removed those extra mates, let's take a look at that lock rotation option that is now available for concentric mates. Choosing a cylindrical face, I'll use an alt, click, drag and drop option to invoke a concentric smart mate. What's new here is the availability of a lock rotation option to hold the alignment of the components with respect to one another. Once we've confirmed our selections, we can then reorient our assembly to go about testing the alignment of our flanges. As we can see here, the lock rotation option is preventing the components from rotating about those concentric surfaces that were chosen during the application of the concentric mate. A subsequent right click on the concentric mate within the feature tree allows us to unlock the rotation once again and align our components. I hope this quick tip has been helpful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next time.